Hey guys, this is Jazz Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop Express, or what it really is. Now, Photoshop Express, for those who don't know, it's an app for the iPhone, the iPad, and for your iPod Touch. Um, this is a little different than what I normally do, I'm usually on my laptop, in Photoshop CS5 or CS4 or whatever I have. But today I'm going to show you the basics of Photoshop Express, what it does, and all that kind of cool stuff. So... Here, let's go for it. So, you're going to open the app, and it's going to ask you a few questions, so just answer those questions, and you're good. And then you'll get this screen here, and it will say, Edit. So you're going to select a photo you already have in your camera. Now, let's see, I'm just going to choose this photo here. Um, the heck? Alright, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's you're going to choose a photo of your choosing, um... You can't take photos in here, but you can edit them like you would in Photoshop, essentially. And if you don't like your photo, you can click select new photo, and it will delete this one, and you can go ahead. Now, it has the crop button here on the bottom, if you can see that. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. Okay. Down on below here is the crop button. And it does the same exact thing as it does in Photoshop. You can crop your photo. It'll say, resize the crop area by dragging and crop the corners to move. Dismiss. Yeah, hide tips, whatever. So, take your fingers and you can crop bits of it out. So, you may have to use, like, yeah. So, I'm just going to take that bit there. And then you push the crop thing there. And, or the check button over there in the corner. And then you get that little selection there. Alright. And then uh, next to it, and then also in the crop section here, you have the straighten tool, which I don't need to straighten my photo because my photo is straight as it is, but if you have a, um, a sideways photo, you can straighten it, you know, or rotate it or whatnot. Um, if you have your photo is on the side and you want to rotate it to a 90 degree angle, you can do side pushing rotate, and you can rotate it to like whatever, like this. Whee! But I don't want to rotate my photo too much, so we're going to leave it there. And then again, um, you have the flip, the flip option. Um, you can flip it so it goes that way or this way. I like it this way because it looks more better. So then you have, all right. So then next to the crop tool, you also have this. It is the exposure adjustment, color, and balance um, options. Um, the exposure is basically making it extremely bright to extremely dark, um, pretty quickly. And you just use your fingers and you can adjust it like this. Make it really awesomely bright. Make it extremely kind of like uh, really dark. Um, I'm going to stick mine right in the middle. Kind of yeah, ish. Yeah, like right there. That's good for me. Alright, and then below that exposure you have adjustment. Now adjustment, I don't need that. Um, again, you use your fingers and you can adjust the color to make it extremely, really wacko, or you can make it really, like, just get rid of it and have it gray. But who wants that for a photo? So I'm going to keep mine just in the middle, even though it's still a little too bright. Oh, well. So I'm going to check the check mark. Look at that. That's pretty cool right there. So let's go to color and change this color. Dismiss that. I don't need hint tips. Thank you. And again, with your finger, you just have to adjust this to your color blanking. That's really too much color, if I do say so, so I'm just going to go down here a little bit. And yeah, that looks alright, I think. I don't know. Okay, and then we have balance, and balance is just balancing out your colors and whatnot, um, and, you know, using your finger, you get these kind of effects. Um, that looks like a cartoon kind of thing right there, sort of, kind of, like someone drew it. But, yeah. Okay, and then if you don't like the effect, um, you know, on the right corner on the bottom, it has the undo button. Click undo, and it will, again, go back to that. Or you can redo it if you wanted it on there, and there you go. So, let me just move this over a bit. Then we're going to move over to the next to option. And we have black and white colorized sketch, soft focus, sharpen, reduce noise. Now, I'm going to just cancel out this photo. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to mess up what we've already done. So I'm going to cancel this, and we're going to re-exit. We're going to select the same photo again. 
select this photo. All right, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to, you know, test out all these things here. So black and white, obviously, it turns it black and white. That's pretty standard. You know, I'm sure you understand that. Unless you're really dumb and don't know what black and white does. But I think don't think anyone's that dumb. Seriously. All right, so then you go to colorize, and essentially colorize, just colorizes your photo to one specific color. Using your fingers, if you do this, you can change it from different hues. Um, yeah, so you see what I'm saying? So yeah, um, I'm not going to colorize mine because that would look ridiculous, I think, but you know, if you're using your photo and you want to colorize it, go for it. I'm all ears. Okay, then you have sketch, and basically sketch just adds like a cool like effect as if someone drew it. Um, that's really this what it does. Um, I think it looks a bit weird in my opinion, but hey, if you like it, that's cool. All right, so then under sketch, we then have soft focus. Now soft focus is a pretty cool effect, I gotta say. I enjoy it, and you can also do that in Photoshop as well, not just Photoshop Express. It's very simple to do. Um, but yeah, see, that's what soft focus does. It gives it a little more, oh, kind of effect. Like, you just get, like, oh, cuteness or whatever. I don't know. So, yeah, that's what that does. Um, and then below that is the sharpen tool. Sharpen tool is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure if you know, having Photoshop, that what sharpen does. But if you don't know, sharpen makes it more crisp. It makes it stand out more than it did before. Um, and you'll see that right there. The, whoa, that's too sharp, so don't go too sharp, but, yeah. Anyway, that's what you get when you sharpen your photo. And now we're back to the original photo. Okay, and then the reduced noise, um, you know, you can add, like, TV noise or whatnot, but, I don't know if you really want to, but hey! Um, so yeah, if you have, like, um, TV noise kind of like effect on your photo and you want to get rid of it, just go like that and it kind of gets rid of it. You don't really see much of it. I didn't have any on my photo, but you know, if you do, it, it will go away. Um, it kind of got rid of a little bit of the grass here, as you can see. Whoa, oops. But yeah, that's what it essentially does. All right, um, let's see, what else have we got? Oh, and we now move over to our cool things, the effects. Um, you have effects and borders. Um, the effects in this aren't too great. Um, I mean, they have a few that are cool, but a lot of it's just like, all right, cool. I mean, you have your black and white that goes from different um, things here. And essentially, if you just move your finger over, you can select different ones. But black and white um, um, pine hole. I like this. It's actually a pretty cool black and white effect. Um, you can dismiss that if you don't want it. Um, and... I don't know, I just think that's really interesting, and, you know, if you slide your finger like this, it goes to different ones. Um, that's, like, kind of like a really cool, like, horror kind of thing, but I'm not really feeling the horror the horror theme right now, so I'm going to X out of that and go back into my effects and try something different from black and white. Okay, and, um, if you a list of different ones, you can do distort. If you're feeling drunk and you want to make a drunk photo, go for it. Um, it, it'll show you all the cool things you can do with it, um, for preview. Um, I'm not going to select all of them because that would take too long and you guys don't want to sit through a whole, like, hour long video. Um, and you have the overlay effect, um, bright, ooh, what's this? I'm not sure if I, whoa, that's pretty cool. That's like a sunburst just came and blew up your photo. <laughs> there is one effect in here that I think is really awesome, and I'm going to show you in a second. Hold on, let me find it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's under overlay frame. I'm not sure, but it gives you, um, like a rainbow kind of thing. And, um, yeah. Oh, there it is. Rainbow. Yeah. Oh my god. Dismiss. What the hell? That is the coolest thing ever. If you take a photo, you can make yourself like a rainbow. It's really awesome. Yeah. That's my favorite effect, actually, out of all of them. Um, and they, they always update their app, by the way, so, you know, like, every once in a while they'll update the app with new stuff, so always keep an eye out for stuff. And you can have, like, a postcard theme, um, you can add, like, uh, swirls and stuff, and bricks, and, I don't know, you can spherify it, overlay tiles, um, you can create, like, uh, cool like little photo things here like it'll just distort your photo for you I don't 
I mean, you can do that in Photoshop as well, but that's just the coolest thing in the world on one photo, I think, in my opinion. Um, let's see what else they got. Um, I actually haven't used this app for quite some time, so they've added a lot of cool stuff to it that I haven't actually seen quite yet. Um, it's a free app, by the way. This app is totally free. There's no um, paid anything paid for it. Um, oh, yeah, you can add the cool, like, pop theme with the four different um, photos right there. Like, I think that's pretty awesome, but, yeah, that's what that does. Um, let's see, what else do we have in the effects? There's so much stuff in here, guys. Like, seriously, you could spend hours just messing around with all your photos and, like, um, yeah. And you can adjust your tones, your highlights, you can tilt and shift your photo to look drunk and shit. I don't know. I mean, it can go on and on. You can really go forward. Um, ooh, vintage. I like vintage, don't you? Vintage is awesome. That's cool. Alright, let's see what the borders have to do. Check that shit. Oh, hey! Look at this. I didn't see this before. This is a purchased Adobe Effect Pack. Gives your photos fun, fresh looks for more than 45 eye-catching effects. Adjust the effects from Dragon Motions and preview effects on your photos before you apply them. Well, you know what you can do. It says you have to purchase these packages, but you know what? No, you don't, because you can go around that. If you click close and you actually use your uh, camera inside your thing by holding down your uh, home button and your on-off switch, look what you can do. Oh, and then you go back into Photoshop Express and you crop that shit out and boom, you have that photo and you didn't have to pay a penny for it. So, therefore, booyah, Adobe Photoshop, I just got that shit for free. <laughs> okay, that's how you do shit for free. Alrighty, anyways, <laughs> back to what we were originally doing. Now, we're going to go to the borders. Now, the borders are a little different as well. You can get, like, really um, crazy ones. And in case you didn't notice already, like I just showed you, anything that's starred, I believe, is a paid package, but... um find that out on your own. It is. If it's starred, it's a paid package deal, but if you're cool and don't want to pay for the package, you can just do the uh, home button and the thing, take a photo with it, boom, bang, go back in here, crop it out, and boom, that shit's for free. So no Photoshop just made their money go away. All right, so um, I believe this video is uh, long enough. My uh, tutorial has been long enough for you, so I'm sorry that it was like 16 minutes long. Um, but I want to show you everything step by step so you weren't like, what the hell does that do? So, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching this really interesting tutorial on Photoshop Express for the iPod, iPad, and iPhone. If you don't have any of those devices, well, then I'm sorry this tutorial wasn't for you. But hey, at least you got some education in your head. So, there you go. So, please subscribe and, um whatnot. Uh, like the video if you like it, if it's awesome. If you hated it, I'm sorry. i just trying to be cool and give you knowledgeable information on Photoshop stuff. So, um, more tutorials to come. Uh, this is just my random Photoshop Express tutorial. If you guys want more um, on the Photoshop Express, uh, leave me a comment. I can figure some stuff out. Uh, if you want other things, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Alright. Um,